Hey everybody, Damon Seven Hand Sabers here. We're going to talk about our latest MHS build that we're going to be putting up for sale. All MHS parts, Prism 5.5. Um, this is it right here. Pretty simple build. This is not for hardcore dueling. I never recommend any saber with uh, electronics in it for hardcore dueling. If you want to do that, get yourself a stunt and go to town. Get yourself a saber built for bashing its brains out. This is not that saber. We put a... Um, Shattered emitter into this. I had a uh, we I, I, I drilled the wrong hole in it. It's too big So I'm like, ah, oh, great. What are we gonna do? So I just made it decided to make it a shattered emitter We added to it here on the side are two accent lights three millimeter red and green accent lights that are wired in and they do a chase pattern You can change the pattern to whatever you want it if you want to get in there and do it. We just left it as a chase the Prism 5.5 has great swing sensitivity. It's very uh, accurate. Clash is great. It's RGB color changing on the fly. It's a really fun saver. Activation box on top. This is actually a different activation box than we thought we had. We thought we had one that would put the, um, the black and red uh, momentary switches from the custom saver shop here in the center. It was actually a hole for one of their accent lights. So what we did is got a uh, tactile switch with the uh, tactile switch ring, and it fits perfectly. Impressive. Most impressive. Fits perfectly in there, gets perfect tactile function. What brings you out this far? And works just fine. This is hand painted. This isn't powder coated. We did sand this stuff down, cleaned it, and hit it with a really good self etching primer. A few coats of that allowed it to dry properly, sanded it again, and then painted it, weathered it, and sealed it. But this is what I call active weathering on a saver. So over time, this paint might start to fade some more. If you hit this, you're handling it with a ring, you could scratch it, keys, if you drop it, or you run it into it. I'm not gonna take my ring off right now, so I don't do anything to it. But it, there is potential for this paint to come off and the weathering to continue. If that's an issue for you, then don't buy the Sabre. <laughs> this is not going to come with a blade, it's not going to come with a charger, it's hilt only. Uh, so if you already have those, great. If not, um, you, can, you can point you out in places to purchase a blade, a one inch blade, or a proper charger for it. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, may the force be with you.